knowing he is not ready for prime time, Greeny, uh, I find this whole thing to be disgraceful. Dion may want to talk about love and joy, and that's been the, the cornerstone of what he seems to be spewing out. But treating reporters like this, uh, it seems like uh, we're in some uh, autocratic uh, country. This is this is not America. I'm, I'm not negative to anybody in here. I would challenge you and ask you why or where is this coming from? So I'm not I'm not built like that. I'm not built to hate. I'm not a hateful guy. I'm not a I, I come with love. I think any, if anybody in here has had encounters with me, I don't come with the bullshit. I come with the peace. This is a trait of Deion Sanders. He wants to have it his way. And I find him to, to be a bully and a hypocrite. And quite frankly, as someone who has been a fan of his throughout his entire career, e even at Colorado, I, I am I am mortified by his actions. So here we go again, back with another one. Welcome back to the Dark Times channel. And before I get started, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you're not new to the channel and you've been enjoying the content so far on this channel, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me as well. And so we got three days left to North Dakota State. Everybody looks locked in. Everybody looks like they're ready to rock and roll. Listen, man, we got Thursday night coming up, folks. I'm going to tell you right now, we coming to play. We are coming to play. We are, it's, hey, it's dead ass serious this week. Dead serious. And so Thursday will be here before we know it, but I want to go ahead and talk about Paul Feinbaum here for a second. And I got a feeling we're going to be talking about Paul the rest of the season, just as it was last season with his Dion hate. As far as Dion Sanders, first of all, he doesn't have to announce it. There's a reason why I think he's announcing it, Greeny. He's trying to intimidate anyone from going down the same dark road. By the way, I, I have been to a million press conferences where a coach would not call on me because the coach did not like me. I'm sure you've been in the same spot, Greeny. That's all you have to do. But, but the reason why Dion is going public is he wants total control and things have not gone his way. That, that's really- What Dion Sanders did is a chess move and for those of you who don't know the the details surrounding of what paul is talking about like i said earlier a decision was made um, by colorado by deon sanders not to have a particular reporter i'm not going to say his name because he's getting clout off this too not to have a particular reporter be able to ask deon sanders questions he's burned that bridge he's gotten too personal he brings up issues that has nothing to do with football at times and so why even entertain somebody like that? For Sean Keeler, by announcing this publicly, when all he had to do was stop answering this guy's questions privately without making any proclamations. I don't understand why it was handled in this way, where it had to become something that had the exact opposite effect of what I think he intended to do in this particular case. But here's the deal. Coach Deion Sanders didn't have to make it public. The University of Colorado didn't have to make it public, but it was the right decision to do that. And I'm gonna tell you why. You gotta know how to play the game. He knows entertainment. He knows how to keep his name relevant. And this is before social media. This is before they had access to all these different platforms. He was prime time back when you had to record on VHS. And so he knows what he's doing. And this is a perfect example because instead of on a Monday morning, a couple of days until prime time really kicks off. We already know we had college football this Saturday, but the real kickoff is Thursday when you have a full slate of games and everybody's going to be talking about all the big matchups. And we're talking about an unranked Colorado team. Instead of talking about the Alabamas, the Ohio States, the Clemsons, the power schools, you're talking about Colorado. And that's exactly what Deion Sanders wants. And that's exactly why a lot of these coaches didn't want them in the college ranks to begin with. And I'm not going to go too deep with that one. I'll let y'all figure out and read between the lines on that one. But go ahead and chime in in the comment section below. Let me know how y'all feel about Deion Sanders and the Colorado Buffalo shutting down a reporter that was getting a little bit too personal. And do y'all think it was a chess move or you think it's just Deion Sanders trying to control the narrative around the campus? And there's certainly nothing wrong with that. Other coaches and other universities have done the same thing before. And so go ahead and let me know how y'all feel about it. And as usual, peace and chaos.